Hey everybody, it's Matt Keita. I'm with the Risk Control Show, and I'm here with Steve Wilman. Hey, hey, we're back again. Can you believe it? Yep. <laughs> yep. Looks like we never left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I, do you need a safety committee? <laughs> I, I don't know. Do is that something that everybody needs as a safety committee? To, yeah, do to, you need another hole in your head? That's yeah, <laughs> right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't listen to this, OSHA. <laughs> <laughs> you know california and, and even nebraska i remember um when i was a young buck starting out and working with nuclear power plant cleaning and mm. you know ammunition manufacturing all this heavy stuff my boss told me at the time there's three of us we started this thing but they were they were kind of the big owners and everything right he said you should really you you know you should ask consultation to come out and uh <laughs> and like give you a you know, get you up to speed on this IIPP and everything. Check right. out our program. See how they go. Like, evaluate yourself, man. See if you're any good. And I'm like, ah, oh, why do I want to do this? This is crazy. So right. I called consultation. They came out and I said, he, he said, well, do you have a safety committee? I said, no, I don't have one. <laughs> He's like, well, that's a violation. Right. And I just said, like that. Huh? Yeah. And I said, <laughs> uh, no, it's not. It says right here. <laughs> And if you read the article, yeah. I put the uh, I put it in here for California, but uh, Nebraska is a similar thing, right? Right, right. So I said, it says right there, it's optional. Why do I want to have something that's optional? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, so, oh, oh, and that's what I usually find. Like, they're so keyed in and so narrowly focused on this one little issue that they overlook the things that are, are there that give right. you options. And so, hey, same thing applies here in California. Uh, a lot of us think that having a safety committee is part of this communication portion of the IAPP. Right. And I say seven plus one element, which is eight elements of the IAPP. Mm -hmm. uh, there's one, and mm -hmm. that is the one that is, that is not really <laughs> written out, is that you keep the records of how it was formed. But that's optional for public agencies as well. Right. So. Um, when you look at your safety committee, and I, I joke about, do you need another hole in your head? Because it is another uh, committee that you put together that if you don't do it properly, you end up with a mess. Yes. You end up with opening yourself up to a bunch of violations, mm -hmm. uh, not only just safety violations, but National Labor Relations Board violations. Because yeah. if you don't craft and you don't maintain the proper membership of this, of equal parts, management and non-management, right. and, and you can always have more non-management, but you can never have more management. Right. Right. So uh, you typically equal parts because, again, in a union bargaining uh, environment, you have to follow those labor organization rules. Otherwise you create right. an unfair labor group. Right. And, and that's not, that's not good. <laughs> yeah. And look, getting just to the actual basic concept of what a safety committee is for, you want, you want your people on the ground to be part of that because they're going to see safety issues that you may not be aware of. Management's not going to see everything, but your boots on the ground you know, your, your staff that's out there doing the work, they're going to be aware of these safety issues. It's above and beyond just covering like, hey, we got to do this as we're following the IAPP. The committee has a purpose. You know, the pur purpose is to create a safe environment to do your work. So if that committee, if you have a properly functioning committee, you're going to be aware of these issues, these things, and you will be able to take steps to actually take care of them. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And again, I think that goes back to this crafting of your safety committee. You know, Cal OSHA spells out some of the things that must be discussed in a committee meeting, mm -hmm. which is great, but it's very rudimentary and it's very, you know, elementary right. in, in its concept. And sometimes it's like, okay, yeah, so we had an accident. Okay, I don't mean to minimize it, but okay, you had... Um, you had a, a cut finger. Okay, what are we going to do about that? Well, I don't know, Bob. What do you think we're going to do? Should right. Go, you know, you're not going to take 10 people out uh, for two hours and go look no. at this. Yeah. It's ridiculous. It's stupid. Yeah. Um, so you have to design your committee and give them a purpose, and that purpose needs to fulfill 
fulfill the mission of the organization. Yes. And so many times when I talk about what is the mission of the organization, like when you write a safety policy, how stupid is it for you to go, uh, the purpose of this policy is to comply with the <laughs> OSHA regulations. Is that what you're in business right, that's for? What yeah. No, right. I'm not in business to comply with regulations. I'm in business to, uh, in private business to earn a profit, mm. to provide for my family, to provide a particular service for a customer. If yeah. I'm a city, I'm there to provide services to my constituents, yep. my citizens, my residents. If I'm a school district, I'm there to educate the state, the students, yep. right? I'm, I'm I'm there for those purposes. Make your safety policies ring into that. Yes. Right? And the same thing for the safety committee. Well, what, what's their real purpose? Mm -hmm. Well, their real purpose is to promote safety and health in your organization. Yeah. How do you do that? With behavioral changes, right? Put them on the committee to design a health and safety fair. Right. 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 Put them on their committee to go out and promote safety in the workplace. So what's that look like? Hey, we give awards. Hey, good job, man. Right. You did good today. Hey, I want to give you this little uh, sticker, this gold star. Thank you. <laughs> and my dad would be standing on stage like, I'm not taking this teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I got the, oh, should I tell that story? <laughs> no, pretty... I probably shouldn't. But, uh, you know, hey, Hey, we're having a barbecue. I wanted to thank you for doing this right, right? Right. You know, let me do right. some training here. Um, let me promote these things, right? Get out there and do those things. Stop right. being the hammer hitting the nail as a safety committee. Right. Nobody exactly. wants to join that. Yeah. Nobody wants to be among their peers and be looked at as, oh, you're that guy. Yeah. Stay away from that stinky guy. Yeah. You know? Right. You want to encourage safety. Yeah. You want to, you, you know, you want to encourage safe practices, make it, make it, a good thing you know it doesn't have to be a bad thing it, it, it's supposed to be you know like you're reporting somebody or anything like that this can be something it's just a safe practice is, hey this is something that's good for all of us you know right. and and make it a positive experience so that everybody's working together to raise that level uh, of safety in your organization so i went out to work at this district and i worked on site three days a week mm -hmm. <clears throat> And the first thing I did was kept my mouth shut. I looked, I listened, I listened carefully with a lot of attention. Um, I, I introduced myself. Hi, I'm Steve. Right. I want to be doing risk management here. How are you? What things are, you know, what are you up to? What's, what's challenging? What's bothering you? Right. And about three months into this, someone came to my little office and they sat down and they said, you know, we've been watching you and everything that is brought to you, you actually take care of. We've never had that before. And I said, well, that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm supposed to solve problems. Yeah. And so he goes, well, let me, I'm, I was afraid to tell you this, but I want to tell you this. He said, uh, a lot of people are not feeling so good from the air in here. And we've complained about it over the past 15 years, a couple times, and nothing ever got done. I huh. said, well, really? So I said, um, well, what's the issue? I promise you this. I'll look into it. I'll get it evaluated by a professional, uh, you know, a certified industrial hygienist. Right. I'll do it the right way. You just tell me and let me handle this. Right. And so they said, well, you know, a long time ago, we had birds that got into our HVAC system on the roof. You know, they they had deposited their excrement up there and all this kind of stuff. And, right. And we feel, we're kind of feeling those same effects. I said, okay. So I called out the CIH, pulled open the HVAC system. And sure enough, the condensate line was run in the wrong area. And it was dripping water in there. And it was full no. of mold. It was full of bird droppings. It was oh, full of wow. all kinds of stuff. Cleaned it out, sealed it up, got it working properly, fixed it. You know, we, we had a... I got a grant for it, you know, okay. got all this stuff taken care of, new new HVAC system up there, the whole, you know, the whole nine yards, right? So the first thing was seal it up, get it cleaned up, all that, then replace the whole system. Right. Right then and there, everybody's attitude towards work improved. Morale was up. Yes. People were enjoying themselves again. And guess what? I bought the goodwill of the people by mm -hmm. doing my job. 
And that's what you want a safety committee to do. Right. You want them to buy goodwill. You want them to be trusted advisors for people that they can bring problems and issues and that they get solved. Mm-hmm. Right. Not that you're throwing it back in their face or whatever, you know, that, that you're yeah. giving them a purpose beyond let's look at the accidents. Oh, let's review the policies. That's boring. Nobody wants to do that. So as I said in the article, and as you can read for yourself, <laughs> it's optional. Yep. So if you're not going to actually put the time and the effort and the invest in the committee so that you draw good people, that you actually have your meetings and you're doing more than the mandatory minimum of uh, once per quarter, right? then don't do it right. because it's not required. Just yeah. don't do it. Yeah. You're better off that way. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So if you are going to do it, then do it right. 100%. You want me to hit you in the... <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> so do it right. Do it right. Do it right. Do it right. There you go, Or guys. don't do it at all. And you know, won't be in trouble. How's that sound? Sounds great. Yeah? Should yeah. they subscribe? Yeah, they should. And don't forget, check out our YouTube video uh, over here, our YouTube channel. We got the YouTube channel for you if you are just looking at the articles. Otherwise, check that out. And we'll see you on the next Risk Control Show. And if you've got questions, let us know. See you later, folks.